Hi, this is Holly Lyle. Um, I'm going to give folks a second to get here, and um, then we'll get started. And Okay, hi, I've got my first folks in here. Go ahead, and if you'll notice down in the right-hand side, there is a new red button. I'm working on different uh, Hangout software now, and I think it's going to be better for us. So uh, if, you, if you click the red button on the right, you will see where that will allow you to ask questions. When you ask a question, it creates a new tab for me, so make sure that you have already heard my answers, or already already let me get a chance to um, go over my stuff here before you ask a lot of questions, because um, what's going to happen with that is I'm going to end up with about 100 tabs on the right side uh, for individual questions, and it's going to be very tough to keep up with uh, what folks are are asking. Okay, well, anyway, uh, and you can see why I don't like to do video. It makes me nervous. Anyway, okay, um, there have been uh, a number of problems and blow-ups and uh, all sorts of other issues with how to think side or with how to revise your not with how to write a series. I'm here. Um, and a lot of them are things that have been outside of my control. Unfortunately, uh, those I can't promise are not going to happen again. Uh, some of them, however, are in my control, and I am completely redoing uh, a number of things to make this course go a lot smoother for us. Uh, so let me walk you through what, first of all, this is what blew up. First of all, WordPress updates. Uh, I hate them and I hate them for a really good reason. The first Word, WordPress update that blew up things for me was uh, about six months ago when it broke Member Mouse, which meant that I had to roll back to an older version. At that point, we lost a number of posts. Um, but along with that, we had uh, just... Uh, we, we, we lost a certain amount of functionality. Uh, which means that, unfortunately, uh, I have not been able to update Member Mouse. We have not been able to get any of the cool stuff that they wanted to do. Member Mouse is what delivers your courses to you. And it is also what allows you to buy them. And it, there was a thing in there that would have allowed me to, to set up gift purchases so that uh, a mom who wanted to buy a course for her adult child could have come in and uh, purchased How to Think Sideways, for example, and it would have just worked. Uh, we don't have that, and this is why. The second thing that blew up because of a WordPress update was Symposium, which is the brow which is the forum software that we're using. And it is the reason that we cannot do much of anything with Symposium. Um, we're getting rid of Symposium. I'll get more into that in a few minutes. Uh, we're going to the software that we used when we had a great, active, vivid community. Um, and along with that, good things. Anyway, I'll, I'll skip on to the next thing. The next thing that that WordPress blew up, and this was about a week ago, um, was the download upload download function. Downloads fortunately still work, although you do have to refresh the page between every single download. That is a WordPress uh, blow up also because of the way that they changed the software. Um, but now I can no longer upload things with WordPress, which means I had to go out and find another plugin so that I could just get your lessons to you. They've got different buttons. It's uh, you'll see it on the next pages as we go go through this. Uh, but um, <laughs> the upshot of this is that first of all, we are moving off of Symposium, uh, and I've got this this amazing guy who's an MIT grad who is is a website developer, builder, coder. He just he he codes magic like off the top of his head. It's, it's amazing. And he is working with me and we are getting a new site. Uh, but we are first going to get the forums fixed and the forums will work with what we have right now. Kind of kludgy and, and uh, messed up as it is. We are, however, going to be getting rid of WordPress. <laughs> uh, because, you know, obviously, if you, you look at the 
the single thing that keeps breaking your stuff and the single thing that keeps breaking your stuff is WordPress, then you move along. So that's what we're doing. I'm looking at CMSs right now, which is content management systems. Uh, we're going to move the site to a different URL. Your, all your stuff is going to be there. You'll just go from one site to the other site as soon as we take this live. Um, and because of, of Dan and the magic coding thing that he does, uh, we've got uh, a number of, of really cool things that are coming up. But the other part, okay, that was part one of what blew, blew up, which was WordPress. And that has cost me insane numbers of hours. Uh, because along with writing the course and developing the course and uh, doing my my uh, fiction for you know the the course, uh, I'm also having to work heavily on website de development. This is a several hours of my day every day that I'm doing this, and it's you know it's it's really screwing things up. Okay, but the second part of what blew up was my health. Um, I started. I had cancer symptoms. And uh, so I went in and, you know, immediately, uh, that's one of the things, I, I, I avoid doctors at all costs unless I have a reason to go to see them. So uh, I scheduled an appointment. I was seen within about three, four days. Uh, I was scheduled next day for tests because the things that I know are symptoms are really symptoms. And, uh, you know, the advantage of having been an RN for so long. Um, and I had a bunch of tests. And it took about a month. It was very draining. It was very stressful. Um, and it slowed down course development. And I was still worked. I still worked through this. Um, but I worked a lot slower because I was having a really hard time focusing. Uh, and, uh, you know, my everything came back clean. Uh, I, I have some, some weird issues like uh, scoliosis uh, of my lower spine, which who knew? Uh, <laughs> You know, you figure you, that you find out about when you're a kid and, and uh, they work with it. Not in my case. Uh, in my case, it was, you know, wait till you're 53. And then, surprise, and it's been there all along. Uh, the, the nice thing about that is I don't have back or neck pain anymore. Because um, I, you know, I figured out some ways, that some things that I could do just to make it better. Okay, but that, that whole month, I lost a lot of time on that. And then what blew up part three uh, was this is just, series stuff. Um, Susie Delight ran long and uh, once you read it I think you'll see why it ran long. Uh, I don't think I could have done it in any fewer words than that and still maintain the emotional impact or have gotten the story to be what I wanted it to be. But um, it was, you know, it added significantly to the length of module one. Uh, the other thing about that is videos. And here, here is the thing that I can fix. I hate doing videos. Hate it. I, absolutely. All of the courses that I have taken say that if you are offering a big course, you must do video. Well, here's the thing. I don't think well in video. Uh, I don't explain well in video. I get nervous. I am freaking camera shy. I hate it. I hate being in front of a camera. I'm not comfortable being right here, here, here right now. But this is, you know, it's this, this we're going to hang on to because I like being able to talk to you. So we are going to keep the, the live chats. Um, we're not going to keep lesson videos. I am moving back to PDF lessons because I can do those well. I can get the course that you need and want to you in a timely fashion by writing. Writing is my natural my, my natural thinking process and my natural language. Uh, I'm, I'm not a speaker. Uh, beyond that, um, so the fix here is that I'm going to, back, going to go back to the writing of the lessons. I don't wonder when I write, uh, or if I do, I catch it before you see it, as opposed to on videos where, uh, for example, when I was demonstrating my world on video, uh, as an example of mysteries and uh, characters and the other things that you needed. I got badly off track on that. I am going to end up, not now, but soon, rewriting those lessons uh, or write, doing a written, written walkthrough of each of those lessons, just very brief, to make the concepts clear because as I have gone through them, they don't tell you what you need to know. Um, so that's coming. It's not there yet. 
I, I can't see when I'm doing a video where I haven't connected my dots. When I'm looking at it on paper and when I'm reading it, I can follow the logic of it. Um, and for course development, you need to be very left brain. Uh, video seems to be a right brain process, and it's not one I'm particularly <laughs> good at. Um, also, I am not a speaker by choice. I get nervous. Uh, anyway, and drink. Okay, so what my objectives are as we go into the rest of the class or of the course is I want to do one written lesson per week. I will do demos in writing uh, as my first choice. Uh, I've done demos in writing for how to think sideways and how to revise your novel. I don't see why they won't work for how to write a series. I think we will all get better results if I do this. Um, and the live chats, we're going to, to make that just this. These are going to be the only live, the only videos are going to be us sitting down and talking, me taking questions, things like that. Okay, next. Um, I want to discuss feedback. And uh, at this point, uh, give me a second here, but then I'm going to ask for questions from you or suggestions, ideas. And I've got a pen, and I will write them down. And then we will add that as, as part of what I consider for how we're going to do this better and faster and tighter and, and meaner <laughs> and get you and your series up and live. Okay, so first, the, the feedback right now is awful uh, because the boards are awful. I can't find anything on them. I can't find when somebody has done something new. Um, I, I, they eat posts. They don't just eat your posts. They eat my posts. Um, the, the, the new boards or the, the upgraded boards are almost finished. We've got, they will be done before module two is finished. Um, and if you're judging the length of module two by module one, don't. We're, we're going to do a lot better on that. Um, the achievement pips are going to be back. And I've got some cool things about that coming up. Uh, moderators will be able to moderate again, which will allow them to find posts as soon as they land and respond to posts. Uh, I mean, they've done an amazing job with the crappy stuff we're working with right now. But they're going to have better tools and a lot more of them. Uh, and, you know, this is already built in. We're already practicing on this stuff. Uh, the boards in their all posts are their versions uh, are, are set up uh, on a test site right now. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. They're fast. They're easy to use. Uh, Dan is really amazing with this. Um, okay, I'll be able to find things. So, okay, now the question is, what kind of feedback do you want? Uh, I mean, what we're looking at here is just questions and answers, which I have been horrible on. Uh, part of that has been site development and si and and other things. Uh, as, as noted above, all the shit that blew up. But part of it is just me not having anything that I can find and work with. I, responding to an answer on the current boards, or responding to a question on the current boards leaves you with a little indent that nobody else can, nobody else can see when it goes live. Uh, it doesn't show up as a new post, so the person who receives it doesn't know it's been answered. Um, they're, they're hideous. They are. Uh, so what what types of feedback do you want? And I'm going to start looking here at questions. Um, okay, uh, Liz, Liz Schroeder says, I hope I'm doing this right. So yes, you are. I'm going to close that one. Hi, Jean. Jean says, good morning. Um, okay. Oh, sure. They just show up in red. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, excellent. Zoe says, I prefer written uh, lesson material to videos for what it's worth. Yeah. Yeah, me too. God, I hate taking classes that are in video. They, they are long and they are slow, and you have to dig through for the information rather than just reading and marking. Um, if, but, but apparently, outside of the world of writers, <laughs> this, is, this is just the best thing ever is video. I hate it beyond words. And I have until now been listening to the courses that I have taken that say you have to do video. I've stopped listening. 
I, I'm going to do this my way because my way, I, it worked for how to think sideways and it worked for how to revise your novel and it got my writers published. So that's that's what I'm going to do again. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Yes, prefer P PDF. Kate also says prefer PDF files to videos. Okay, excellent. Also, hello. Yeah, like I said, um, I am getting these in very nice, neat little tabs, uh, the, your questions and answers. So I am going through them. Uh, when you actually ask a question, it shows up in red, which is pretty cool. Um, you do have to use the button on the bottom right if you want to ask a question. And, okay, next one is Misty. For what it's worth, as much as I love to see your lovely face, I prefer the written resources to the videos. It's easier to use for a reference when I get confused. Seriously, yeah, okay. That's so true. Okay, so this. Um, okay, and I've got one from Sally here now who says, yes, written is best. Okay, and okay. Jean says, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, Jean also prefers written. Okay. Um, so happy to hear lessons will be back in writing. Okay, yes. Okay, good. All right, well, okay, then I'm definitely on the tra on the right track with that. I was afraid that there was going to be a huge public outcry of, oh, God, no, please don't make us go back to written lessons. Um, okay, so anyway, what kind of feedback do you want? I need some some suggestions here. When you go onto the boards, what kind of questions do you want to have asked, do you want to be able to ask that I can answer? Um, and this doesn't seem to have the lag, this chat thing, because you guys are showing up instantly here. Okay, maybe audio files for the occasional tangent example parts. I do love those. <laughs> I do love to rant. <laughs> okay, um, let me mark that down here then. Okay. Um, suggestions. Audio files for tangent example. Yeah, I don't mind audio. I, I really don't. Um, for some reason, that doesn't stress me out quite the same way as as video. Uh, I, well, you know, nobody sees me, so that's easier. <laughs> Um, okay. Patricia says I can read it aloud if and when I need an audio. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Janita says uh, your way has made a world of difference to me, so PDF is great. Okay. Kate says uh, same thing. Okay. Um, Annalise. Written quick answers by you or a moderator who knows the answer would be ideal for me. Okay, so just plain answers to questions. Um, feedback. Written quick answers. The cool thing about the forums that we are getting back is that you can check box to say, please let me know when this question has been answered and you'll get an email that will s send you to the link. Um, so that's, I think, that was the way we worked before. It was beautiful. So we're going back to that. Okay, uh, let's see. I've got Jessica here. Separate the, separate the demos from the blank worksheets to keep them saved in different files. That's not a bad idea. Okay, uh, separate demos from worksheets. from. If I write at this speed, I have to make sure that that uh, I'm careful because it gets messy. Worksheets. Okay. Um, if you're doing uh, if you're doing away for with video, is there any chance of audio only MP3 supplements once in a while? Yeah, seriously, audio is not a problem. I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, so I've got that. 
Okay. Feedback is always welcome on the forum, but occasional short remark by you makes my day regardless of who gets the comment. Okay, yeah, I need to be more active on the boards. Um, <laughs> the other thing I'm doing to solve this is um, I'm adding an extra eight hours to my workday. <laughs> Uh, I've been running, I've been working a nice eight-hour workday. Uh, at the moment, with so much stuff going on, that isn't working well. So uh, starting at the beginning of this week, I started um, doing writing and lessons and things like that in the evening, sitting out on the couch with Matt, um, instead of, you know, just hanging out. Now I'm hanging out, but working too. And this is going to be what, helps me make my deadlines until we get the site fixed and and all of the the invisible stuff that's going on that breaks all the live stuff that's going on until that's taken care of um, but yeah uh, I will be on the boards more because I will have a little bit of time I'll dedicate as much time as I can each day in between morning work on the site stuff and evening write the lessons stuff to do uh, some time on the boards with students. Okay. Paul says, uh, prefer written materials, but I love being able to take the videos and turn them into MP3s to re-listen to in the car. Okay, well, audio would still work. Um, for that, uh, you wouldn't have to change them. They would just already be either MP3s, or I can also do them in AIFF. Um, Basically, I have, because I, have, I work on a Mac, I have basically a whole sound studio. I can pretty much present things in files that people want. Um, and now that I temporarily have a good downloader before WordPress comes through and breaks things again, um, you know, I can get some of those done. Okay. Um, Share says, yep, PDF way easier than trying to take notes. I uh, love the form Q&A thing. Yeah. Um, you doing blog posts on the most frequently asked questions is awesome too. Okay, yeah. Um, big questions. There are some things that I do blog posts on because uh, they're really important and more than just you guys needs to, need, need to see them. Uh, so I, I want to disseminate some of that information a little bit more broadly than just the classroom. But putting stuff on the blog, on my this stuff is mostly going up on my personal blog, maybe as articles too. If I do it this way, I will link from the classroom to the post. Um, okay, and would it be possible to have the downloads for each section available all at once in a zip file? No. <laughs> no, it isn't. Um, for one thing, there is a massive bandwidth issue on my end, and for a second thing, there is a massive bandwidth issue one moment. There is a massive bandwidth issue for people who are in uh, areas that have remote uh, and unfortunately bad um, download speeds. And what we are talking about when we are looking at the whole thing is is huge files. So um, no, that's you know I know it would be convenient, but at this point, uh, internet service in big cities is lovely, and internet service out in the sticks remains pretty awful um, in a lot of places. I, in a lot of places, it's uh, almost dial-up speeds still. So um, I need to keep my file sizes small for now. Okay, um, going back up to the top with questions. <laughs> Sally says, "Stay alive." Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I am. Uh, I was very relieved that the cancer stuff came back clear. Uh, uh, you know, it's fortunate that a number of symptoms that mark or indicate cancer are also symptoms for other things, uh, and some of them are symptoms for not much at all, which was the case with me. Uh, I will say that you know midlife is a pain in the ass, <laughs> but aside from that, uh, we're good. Okay, um, audio would be very cool. Jean says audio would be very cool in certain situations. We do love to see you, yo. Yeah, well, you know, we'll do this. We will do questions and answers live um, because 
you know, once in a while I can stand to get in front of the camera. <laughs> um, can be more active in the boards in that extra 12 hours that's in your magical 36 hour day. Uh, well, at this point it's about 14 hours, but um, 14 to 16 sometimes. Uh, but I am still taking weekends. It's very important to note at this point. Um, I'm still working a five day week, so those 14 to 16 hour days are not as big a deal as they were when I was doing that straight seven days a week for six months. Um, I don't want to do that again. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, Jesse says, I know I'm real, not really asking a great question here, but for those of us going short, I want to be able to ensure that I'm not overdoing it and that I'm working hard enough. Uh, some translation for those writing short. Okay, yeah, this is my question. When I scan, oh, okay, skip that question. Uh, when I like, I like when you scan in your notebooks and notebook questions. Uh, Notebook question the muse out. Okay, I'm not. I'm, I'm getting a little lost here. Um, I'm guessing that you're finding the notebook scans useful. Uh, is that kind of a general consensus that the the notebook scans of my pages that you can actually see where you know in my exciting handwriting I've scrawled all over them. Um, are are those a good, useful, valid part of the course for you? Oh, crap. Um, I have a question. I have uh, a little thing for you here, and I'm going to run this across. This is the vote form. Let me see. Okay. All right. Now, um, I don't. I can't see what you're seeing. So, are you seeing a uh, live vote form? Okay, and while I'm I'm waiting, let me see. See, this is this is a little vague, and I haven't used the vote form before, so I put together a short questionnaire, just one question, like six answers, and I'm gonna. It says push the vote form, and now there's a little thing on there that says pull the vote form, and I'm afraid if I pull the vote form, you guys are not going to be able to see the vote anymore. So, um. All right, let's see. <laughs> Notebooks were with the Moon and Sun series. Yes, that visual of your thought process was great. Okay. Gene, notebook scans are awesome. Okay. Notebook scans are lovely. Yes, notebook scans are very useful. Okay, so we will be continuing with the notebook scans. <laughs> okay, thank you for that. Um, I like the visuals you give of how you did something like your techniques, maps, clusters, and examples. Okay, that's not a problem. That I do anyway. Um, running it through my scanner over on the side there is no big deal. So yeah, those we will continue to do. It's especially no big deal since I learned how to use the scanner. <laughs> I didn't realize that I could just slide it through the little paper slot on the side and it would automatically scan them beautifully. I've been doing all of this lift the lid and paste it in. Um, it took forever. So now it's just a now it's just a breeze to do. Okay. Um, yeah, zip files. Uh, Kate notices notes that zip files can also misdownload or come through corrupted. Yes. Uh, okay. And apparently, no, the vote form is not no form, no form. All right. Well, what a bunch of boogers they are. Okay. I'm pulling it. Vote form pulled successfully. Okay, did that make the vote form show up? If not, then um, fortunately I'm not doing anything too too important with the vote. I just wanted to know what you guys thought. Um, and I don't specifically remember the question that I asked, so I can't ask it for you now. Oh, maybe I can. Hold on just here a second. Um, vote and pop up. Yeah, I wanted to know what the one thing that you thought would be that would help you get your series up and writing. Let me submit that. I had written PDF, Kindle, EPUB lessons, checklists, and flow sheets. Um, 
better form for easier communication, faster lesson publication schedule, more specific deadlines, which we are going to get to in a second anyway, uh, built-in challenges or something else. Okay, so uh, we, will, we will not worry about the vote right now, and since I'm covering most of this in the, uh, in the discussion here, I'll just make sure that I've got that little checklist over on the side there, and I'll add that stuff too. Okay, um, no... Notebook scans are awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I like the notebook scans because they're like diagrams. Uh, I feel like I absorb the material better. Yeah, well, that's okay. All right, so we are not going to worry about the vote. We are going to be adding notebook scan, making sure that I keep the notebook scans. Keep. Okay. Um, and then audio files. Okay. And then I'm going back up to the top and go through this again. Okay. Yes, the order of use system for the files. Um, that's something that Dan is going to help me with. There are on the site right now, approximately 800 files, um, with 800 specific course-related download files, only just just course-related files, and um, because I was manually have been manually numbering everything, the numbers are not consistent. So what we will be doing as we move stuff over to the new site, uh, which is step three after we get the boards live, which is step two. Step one was just figuring out if this was going to work. <laughs> um, after when we hit step three, one of the things that will happen is that courses, each course and each lesson set will have uh, step by step uh, downloaded and it will automatically fall into order numbering uh, because that's you're not the only person who has asked about that. Uh, and it's just the fact that I do them by hand. I don't remember the numbering system I've been using, and things get messed up. Um, you know, when you do things manually and you're doing hundreds of files, it's very easy to forget what your numbering system was originally. Okay. Um, a flow sheet for beginning to end of process and lesson references might be helpful when I'm getting overwhelmed. Right now I'm stalled and I think it's because I missed a step or two early on, but which one and where? Uh, yeah, the steps that you missed were because of the frickin' videos uh, where I thought I was getting the information that you needed and I was instead digressing. So what I did last night was I put together a checklist of what to do step by step through the first episode in this series. Uh, I still want to add commentary to this. Uh, the checklist itself is ready to go and I will probably upload it today. The, the commented portion uh, I'll work on tonight. So uh, yeah, uh, because uh, because yeah I did get I, I did uh, videos, freaking videos, I hate them. All right, um, Flow sheets, yes. Okay. Um, like I said, got the checklist done, um, and I'll do the common commentary on it uh, tonight. And a flow sheet for beginning to end of process, lesson references. Yes, I even remembered the lesson references in the checklist. <laughs> um, Snickers, no. <laughs> Still no form yet, no. no. Form is not coming. I have decided to give it up. All right. Um, diagramming an idea now that the muse hit me with at 3 this morning. Yeah, I love those. Tracking system similar to what you did for the clinic books for how to write a series would be neat. Oh, yeah. Well, okay. Tracking system is what a series Bible is. And that is what we're doing in Module 2. If you went through the links in the last email that I sent out, you went to the to the new introductory page for how to write a series and to the first how to write a series lesson where I'm talking about a series Bible as the next thing that we're going to do. It's with a series, it's um, tracking is the big thing, but it's not as big a deal as people make it because 
you don't track you, you do track everything that's important, you just have to understand what's important. So um, we will be working on that and uh, it will take us a few weeks but the first thing that we're going to be mo doing in Module 2 is publishing Broke, which is I have about five dollars to my name and I want to start making money on Kindle. Um, and, and in print because you can do the same thing you can it takes about five bucks seriously to do your first book if you are publishing broke now it is not going to be the same quality as if you hire a formatter or a cover artist um, but you can get pretty close and if you are careful about your editing and uh, your copy editing and uh, do a couple of little tricks that I show you it will it will look uh, really good it will look really good. I mean, you figure. Uh, it cost me about five bucks to do Suzy Delight. Um, and that was for buying cover images. And But but we're also going to work on budgeting in the first lesson of Module 2 because you need to know how to to feed your, your income back into your business. And I, I know that the first thing you want to do when you start making money is you want to start um, spending it on you know things like bills, but, but you are building a business with your writing. And the first thing you invest in with the business is the business. So that as you make money from your first project, you upgrade your software, and there are specific recommendations for software that I have. Um, you upgrade your processes, and then you start upgrading your your formatting. You start farming work out, um, because what you are doing as you build the business is allowing the business to pay you, so that you can get time, which is irreplaceable. Um, money is the replacement for time. Uh, in that if you can pay somebody else to do the things that you are not as good at then you can spend your effort and your time on the things that you are better at so we are we are going to be working on budgeting we are going to be working on putting together uh, five dollar ebooks <laughs> and then we are going to move on to how to build the business one step at a time by investing in your business to make it run okay anyway um, I got a little sidetracked there and let's see now we're going back up to um, the one from how to re how to revise your novel lesson two with the boxes was invaluable can we apply that to the checklist uh, I actually don't have I don't remember what's in that uh, <laughs> so like I said uh, 800 downloads and I've built every single one of them so I don't remember the specific thing you're talking about right now I'll have to look it up um, Okay, next question is writing shorter fiction. Okay, I would rather not have more specific deadlines. I'm writing full-length novels, so the process is taking longer for me, and stricter deadlines would make it feel like I wasn't a full part of the class. Um, but I know the class is primarily designed for writing shorter fiction, so I, I know I'm not really doing what it's designed for. Okay, um, it is designed, the, the process itself is designed for any length of series fiction. It is the exact same process. The class is designed uh, for folks who are trying to do an episode per module just because that's what the lessons are going to cover um, is what you do with the second episode and what you do with the third episode and how it's different. So um, I will probably have uh, achievement pips. Well, actually, yeah, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. but. Um, I don't want to let anybody feel left out. Don't just understand that you are not the only person who's writing novels doing this course. Uh, there are a lot of folks and I think at the point where we get decent forums we're going to allow folks to gather, gather in groups of, with folks who are doing the same sorts of things so that you have some support from people who are doing the same stuff you're doing. Now we're not going to segregate the boards anymore. We're not going to have a lesson one board or a module one board and a module two board. In the new boards this is all going together because people might as well be learning from the people who have already taken the stuff they're taking now. And having everything separated out um, it decreases the amount of, of 
interaction on the boards and what we're looking for is interaction um, so anyway okay next thing down here I um, think you'll be covering it in the next module but information about publishing cover art editing sources yep okay uh, I'd be interested in how to organize all our filled worksheets from how to write a series and all the other classes okay um, <laughs> separately I have all of my how to write a series stuff separate I have how to all of my how to think sideways stuff separate I have all of my how to how to um, how to how to think sideways, how to revise your novel, how to write a series. I've got separate notebooks for each one. Um, mixing them all together? I don't know. Let me think about it. Okay. Uh, back to Liz. Okay, Liz is going to email me the, the checklist thing that she wanted to know about. And um, Kate says... Uh, this is a random question that will relates to why I'm taking this class. Have you ever written a series opener by accident? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, a couple of times. Um, it it's it's still doable. Uh, you you don't have the a lot of times you'll discover that you don't have the infrastructure in place. Um, but uh, initially, how to write a uh, um, initially fire in the mist was just going to be a standalone novel. Uh, Minerva Wakes, which was one of the ones that that my publishers wanted to be uh, a series, was a standalone novel, um, but would work nicely as a series. Um, I think more in series than in standalones. I really do. Uh, and I'm trying. I've got. I've got so many books out there. The romance stuff was all supposed to be standalone, and uh, there was a couple. There, there were uh, a couple of episodes that I think I'm going to follow up on as series stuff, and one that I did, um, Midnight Rain. The sequel to that is I See You. And it is a a ro romance sidestep where you have uh, a repeating character, and then you bring in a new cast. But yeah, it's it's series. So and I had never intended to have anything related to a series with Midnight Rain, and ended up uh, liking my my guy so much that I, I gave him his own romance. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Yeah, Kate says, uh, my Guild series book one was an accident. Book two sells well, but the whole series was an accident. Yeah, that happens. Uh, okay, so um, now we don't have any more live questions. So I'm going to uh, go back to my, my thing here. So here are what I am looking at for the deadlines. Uh, module one just ran way over length, and again, I've explained why. But uh, we're not going to do that again. So I'm giving myself uh, four weeks for four lessons for one module. And those four weeks I will put into doing the, the individual lesson PDFs and into answering questions on the boards. And then uh, I will stop and I will do four weeks from first draft to pub on the novella. Okay, and again, these do have to be soft numbers because sometimes someone will ask a question that needs an additional lesson and it takes time to write those sometimes someone will ask a question or sometimes the book will run long or the story will run long and like I said I don't think I could have done Susie Delight any quicker any easier than that um, but you know I will do my very best to do it in four weeks and then you as the writer who is taking the course you essentially have eight weeks to do the lesson to write your story if you are if you are you know keeping on pace with what I'm doing 
um, with what I will be doing, not with what I have done. <laughs> uh, so, you know, eight weeks gives you about double the time that I'll be doing to write my fiction. Uh, and that may not be enough. And if it's not, don't worry about it. Just your objective is to write, to edit, uh, to write, to revise, to package, and to publish. And the length of time it takes you to do that is whatever, whatever it is. You know, there's no penalty for not finishing your first book or your first episode, uh, no matter what length it is. You take the time you need to get it right, which is what I did with Susie Delight. You know, um, Matt killed me on the edits on that. I went back three times because every time he said, "Okay, now you've done this, you can do better. You could, you've done that, you can do better. You've done this, you can do better." So three times, man, rewrote it, rewrote it, rewrote it, and the third time, uh, I, I really like what I got. And from the reviews, I'd say you know it's going over pretty well. Okay, um, Jean says, uh, okay, right now I'm still, uh, which one and where information can be found? Okay, Jean, I'm lost. Uh, I, I have ad evidently moved on from the question that you were asking, and I don't know what that answer refers to. Uh, I'll bump back to KC. Okay, I uh, would love to know when Module 2 is starting. Kids are finally going back to school. I'm very behind. Want to know how long I have to catch up or do uh, enough to feel like I can get a lot out of Mod 2. Um, Mod 2 will be starting next week. So it's, but like I said, it's not a thing. You have lifetime access to this. You know, that is as long as I am alive and can, well, actually even beyond that because I've already got in my will that, uh, I've made preparations for the site to continue. Um, so basically, you know, as long as you are able to take the course and we are able to keep it online, my husband and me and whoever else inherits it, uh, the course will be available for the people who bought it. Don't feel pushed. Uh, don't feel like there's some wild, you know, rush to get the thing done so that you can start the new. You can start the new module anyway, um, and and read, you know, and get a feel for it, but, but the process of writing a series, the majority of that you've already got. I need to clean it up. Uh, I need to clear out a lot of the digression, but uh, the steps that I showed you are the steps that I use, and they are, step, they are the, the main steps with variations from, from book one through the last book in the series. Uh, it's the variations that we will be getting to, and the variations don't take as much time, not anywhere near as much time. Um, all right, and that looks like all the questions. Anyway, okay, so finally, uh, as a way to make this, to, to make it more fun for folks, to allow us to, uh, to have some, some cool bragging rights, um, I'm going to be putting, the, I'm going to do pips for how to write a series. And like I said, we'll have the boards that can support them very shortly. Um, we're going to be having a student pip, of course, and a grad pip, just like we have for how to think sideways and how to revise your novel. Um, we're also going to have episode one through episode ten pips. So if you are writing a long series, when you finish each book, you just put up the next pip and say, bam, I did it. Um, we are going to have a finished first draft pip for folks who are writing their very first episode and have never finished a first draft before. And, uh, you know, you're, you're doing it, you get a pip that says, yes, I made it to the end of the first draft. Finished revision pip, and finally a pubbed pip. And uh, I missed pips. Uh, I love seeing them. I love, I, you know, I, I love watching people progress through the courses and and have something tangible uh, aside from you know just right on the site tangible it says okay I did this I have succeeded at this this is what I've accomplished so far this is what I'm working on now so signatures and pips are one of the big things that we get back when we get the new boards and again the new boards will be live before module 2 is finished um, and module two, we're looking at an eight-week time frame to, from from finish from start to done, and I'm going to be working extra hours so that that will continue to happen. Okay, we've got Aiva, 
And uh, she says, I seem to be a bit stuck on how to write a series because I have a feeling I'm overbuilding already and I'm not even done with the Mysteries Quadrant. A uh, whole lot of world building, many ideas, but no spark. Okay, um, we will, we will, um, I, I think at the point where I clear up the stuff that's in, in the first module and clean out a lot of the, the crud and just do short written work through lessons for this, that this will get a lot clearer for people. I know right now, uh, because I was even going through it last night, and I was frustrated. Uh, you know, I don't like video when I do it any more than I like video when somebody else does it. So um, with the, the going back to PDF lessons and having nice, clear demonstrations and descriptions that I control, um, as opposed to the ones that kind of run away from me because on video I do that. I think we'll, we'll get a little more done and have a better time at it. Okay, so um, that's what I have. So now it's time for you to ask whatever questions you have about the upcoming course or problems you're having. Um, and let's let's just work on that for a little bit. And uh, you know we've got we've got some time. So uh, let me know what you want to know. And I actually don't know how long it takes from the time somebody writes a question until the time that it shows up as a little red ding on my uh, sidebar here. But um, I'm watching it refreshes automatically, fortunately. Okay. Oh, crap. In the meantime, um, at the bottom of your page, you should have the link to the... Uh, Module 2 textbook. I had forgotten to mention that from now, from here on out, we are doing free textbooks included with the course. That means free Susie Delight, free Bash Technoked. Uh, when uh, I finally get it off of Kindle KDP Select, uh, Death Circus is going to be uh, a free download also. It's just, I'm just going to include this. Um, it was KDP Select seemed like a good idea at the time. Uh, I'm not impressed with it. Uh, there are, now there are some folks who have come up with really nice ideas for how to use KDP Select. Uh, one woman wrote to me yesterday and said that she was going to uh, put her stuff up a month before she was ready to do the launch, which would give her time to get her print book connected with the ebook and to have everything just ready to go so that when she did her launch, uh, she could offer it for the, the ebook for free, I think was what she was planning, or possibly for 99 cents. But either way, she would have been in the system long enough with the book that she could go ahead and do an initial freebie and then bump the price up. Because seriously, if, if you have something set to a specific price and people have paid that price and then all of a sudden it's free, people are going to get upset. Um, which is why, uh, along with having the free textbooks, those of you who have purchased Death Circus and those of you who have purchased Susie Delight uh, are getting an on-site uh, full-value coupon for the amount that you spent. Just go to the, the uh, Novel Writing School Support Desk and, uh, well, it's on, if you click the link on the bottom, the instructions for how to get your rebate coupon are there. And the coupon is not uh, dated. Now, at the point where we move the site, coupons will not transfer because we're not taking member mails with us. We're using a different system. Um, but uh, that will that will be um, the way we do it from now on. But I'm going to make sure that that everybody who purchased those two books gets something of equivalent value that you have to buy off the site that you you know that isn't free. And this is only free for How to Write a Series students. The books are not free for anybody else, so please don't share them. Um, okay, questions. Uh, caveat free textbooks because I don't think you want to give George R. R. Martin's book away. No, 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 just the stuff I write. Okay, yeah, let me clarify that. Um, the stuff that I use as textbooks is what I've written, what I own copyright to, and that's the only stuff that I will ever give away for free. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, thank you. Nice, nice point there. Okay. Um, is it all right to build rules into your worlds? It's absolutely requisite to build rules into your worlds. Um, yeah, absolutely, positively, you must have them. We can, if you know, if this is an issue. Now, seriously, I have I have covered world building heavily in the Create a World Clinic, and I do not want to duplicate material. Um, but you know, short of that, if there are some short questions on it, uh, we can we can cover those. Okay. Now, also, my reason for not using KDP is that some of my readers do not have Kindles. Yeah, it's a big deal for me too. Uh, I didn't like the fact at once once I got into it and once the damn thing was up there and I couldn't take it down. Uh, I realized that some of my students don't have Kindles and don't want to put the Kindle app on their computer. And I mean, you know, there are there are a million different ways you can you can get the Kindle app. You can use it with any computer. You can use it with, and but some people just don't like Amazon, so you can't fight that. Um, so I realized, no, I've got to be able to offer textbooks from my own site. And if I'm offering from my own site, I can just include them into the cost of the course. And you know, there we are. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, there isn't a live vote form. The damn vote form doesn't work. We're going to have to test this someplace else at another time. Um, so the, the vote was, uh, which one thing do you think will help you get your series up and running better? And the options were written PDF, Kindle, EPUB lessons, uh, checklists and flowcharts, better form for easier communication, faster lesson publication schedule, more specific deadlines, built-in challenges, or something else. Um, and since I'm doing all of those things, now I'm not sure that I'm going to be doing uh, PDF, Kindle, EPUB lessons. For right now, I think I'm just going to stick with, with PDF. Uh, it allows me a lot more control of the individual page, and uh, I think I get a better, a better product with it, and it's printable. And that instantly uh, allows you to take notes on things, whereas um, worksheets and things like that just simply do not work with Kindle and EPUB. And, you know, that's... If I'm including things like that in the lessons, that becomes a problem. Okay, um, next question is here. Um, <laughs> yes, worlds are rules are to world building what rebar is to concrete. Absolutely, and uh, Liz says moderator request for Dan's ear. I'd like it if the mods could get the course a couple of days early so we can get questions answered by someone who's gone through the whole lesson on our lesson day one. Well, um, in a perfect world that would be awesome, but the thing is I release the question, I release each module as I finish it. Uh, it would be really nice for the moderators to be able to go through first, but it would delay the delivery of the course significantly. Um, and you know, I'm I'm on a pretty pretty squeezed deadline as it is. God, I get so. Um, anyway, uh, you know, as as something. See, this is the thing with doing a live course. Once once we're doing the pre-produced course, then the moderators are there, and I've got some breathing room. And you know, everybody's bunches of people have already done it. Um, live courses are different in that way, in that it's kind of it just kind of lands on everybody simultaneously, and you scramble. Um, so there there are trade-offs. You know, the the canned course doesn't give you the answer to your question; it gives you the answer to somebody's similar question if you're lucky. But um, live courses don't allow for prep time. Okay, uh, Jean says, uh, PDFs work on Kindle. Yeah, they do. Okay, Kate says, uh, I've gotten yelled at for having them. Oh, okay, my reason for not using KDP is that some of my readers not have Kindle. I've gotten yelled at for having them. I just wanted reassurance that they're valid. Oh, the rules. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. you got to have rules. Uh, rules are a way of building limitations and limitations.
Expectations are what makes froze for anybody else, but that froze briefly for me. That was kind of horrifying. <laughs> okay, uh, let's take a look here. If the coupons will not transfer, is there a deadline for the rebates? Uh, no, if you just if you haven't gotten it and you want to save the coupon, then just we'll do a customer service thing at the end. You'll have to let me know that you haven't used it yet. And when we move over to the new system, the new system will have coupons, and I will be able to to do that. Uh, like I said, I don't have a hard deadline on when we move to the new system because we have to build that first. And right now I'm still looking at CMSs, um, content management systems. Okay, um, stuck at the beginning of module one, got my sweet spot back, know what genre, etc., but can't seem to come up with a good series idea. And for the story core, we already need an idea for the series. Okay, um, yeah, the checklist is going to help you. That's going to be going up today. Uh, a series idea is just a story idea. You you build the series part of it as you build the core and as you build the tentacles and as you build the matrix. Um, it doesn't have to be a series idea when you start. It just needs to be an idea because as you start putting together all the pieces, then you get the 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 ways that different things interconnect, and you start asking yourself some really cool questions and the questions start spawning new things that you want to write about and it it spins out from there so what you're what you want is just an idea and if you have a story idea that doesn't seem like a story idea or that doesn't seem like a series idea use that you know because once you get started with it the process itself is what builds the series Okay, um, let's see, Colleen has been sitting there for a while. Any plans to expand on the last lesson of Module 1, where series elements become plot cards? I've read Plot Clinic a dozen times, but still, uh, but that last bit still felt like I missed something big. Um, like I said, I've got to do PDF lessons for this. And let me see, expand on plot cards. On series elements. Become plot cards. Okay. Got that. Yes, that'll be there. Um, will there be a replay? Yes. Yes, because I have students all over the world, and the folks in Australia, it's 4 o'clock in the morning right now, so none of them could be here. <clears throat> or there might be a few here, but, you know, most, not so much. Um, everywhere. Um, the only continent I'm not covering is Antarctica. And, God, I'd love to hear Antarctica. <laughs> okay, um, let's see, share says this course all of your courses are so terrific but I don't mind I don't mind having to pay a few bucks for your books and it's a great way to support you um, while you're putting so much into the course can that be an option absolutely and I appreciate it if you if you like the stories and, and want to buy them separately um, uh, Susie delight right now is up as a separate purchase um, on the main site in the main shop um, you know you are under no obligation to do so but if you want to do so yeah I'd, I'd appreciate it it's great okay Rebecca Ann says let's see when you publish broke how will it work if you're using pound sterling um, let's see a pound is worth what about it, it translates into about seven or eight bucks no 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 it's it's two point uh, okay so so you'll need a couple of pounds as opposed to five bucks. <laughs> Not bad. All right. Uh, yeah, it froze. Huzzah, Internet. Okay, well, uh, I don't know what I was saying during that moment when my face froze in that awful expression, but see, and that's why I hate video. Hate it. Because, ugh, bad things happen. All right, um, froze here for a second, too, yeah. All right, are there any other questions? And I will again give folks a moment. Let me just recap really, really quickly here. Um, in this, <coughs> excuse me, thirsty. Hey there. I'll be done in a few minutes. Um, my son. 
In this, uh, I went over what blew up and why it blew up and the steps that I am taking to fix the things that blew up that were my fault. Um, the, the site stuff and WordPress, we are going to be replacing the site with a new site, new URL, new software, um, uh, just a clean sweep and uh, everything that you have will be there when you get to the new site. Uh, my programmer is awesome. <laughs> what blew up? Part two, the health thing we've covered. What blew up? Susie's Delight and videos. Okay, I'm not going to be doing videos anymore for anything except like live chats like this because I don't work well in video. I don't think well in video. I like PDF. Um, what are our objectives are, or my deadline is going to be roughly a, a lesson per week, as close as I can come to that, with rebuilding the site on the other, you know, as my other half of my day. Um, I have expanded my schedule from eight hours a day to about 14 to 16, and we'll do that until this course is finished. Um, and we are getting new forms, and those will be very soon and the forms have pips and you will be getting new pips once we get the new forms and okay let's move on here alright pound is about a buck fifty okay so yeah it's figure three bucks okay maybe we can get more forum discussions going where people share their answers to the worksheets seeing lots of examples and other people's interpretations of lessons helps me a lot that is an awesome idea okay um, let me put that down here Okay. Board for worksheet answers. Or not necessarily a board, but topics and things. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, Oh no! Actually, this is this is my little guy. This is not my little guy anymore. He's about six foot two, but this is Joe. Mark is out in Washington State. Okay, so but they said hi to you. He says hi. Um, still, can the story core be thought of as the sentence for a series, or is it something else? It is something else. Um, but again. I'm getting ready to clarify those lessons with PDF inserts. Uh, they are not going to be long. They're not going to be big like the How to Think Sideways lessons. They're just going to be a run through and a clarification. Uh, but I think they will be a huge help for folks who are doing this. And then we will get into full size lessons when we get to module two. Um, okay. This is StoryCorps. versus sentence. Why are they different? Okay, so that will be covered. Um, Colleen says, second the idea about sharing our work results, that would help a lot. Yep, okay. Uh, Laura says, well, Laura says in a second if this comes up for me. Here we go. Okay. You mentioned short stories as an alternative for a future model. Will you also be talking taking, uh, talking about Flash series? Yeah, you can do this. This process works for everything. You figure I'm doing short stories as my demonstration. Um, I, how to... Uh, Enter the Death Circus was a 10,000 word, it's, it's technically a novelette, but it's a short story. Susie Delight is 30,000 words, which is a novella, but it's a short story. Um, so yeah, I'm, I am writing this course in short stories, and you absolutely can do the same thing with flash fiction. Uh, the same process works for every kind of fiction. If you want to make a series, this is, it is, this is process, it is not content. And process is, is, works regardless of length. Okay, Nancy says, um, thank you, Nancy, that's nice. Um, I'm also working through the, the how to write, uh, getting tired. I'm also working through how to revise your novel. Any suggestions on how to keep focus? Um, well, you're working on one, writing one story, and you're working on revising one story, and uh, I'd say probably slow down. Just just give yourself enough time to do a lesson in one, then 
take a breather, give yourself enough time to actually do the lesson in the other, take a breather, and go back and forth. Um, you're not under any pressure to finish this at any given time. You know, If you can show up for the questions and answers, you'll make sure that your questions get answered in the live course and that it will be there for when you go back to take it later. Okay, and then share says, um, okay, will we get notifications of the updates, changes you make as they're available? If you're on the list, you will. If you are on the how to write a series list, then uh, as I send out the emails, uh, I send them out for every time I update. That is the only way that starts first again. Okay, we're back. I don't know whether you lost sound with that, but the answer is yes, as long as you're on the email list, you will get updates. Okay, one more question from Kate, and then I'm going to call it quits. Um, Let's see, for the person who mentioned revision, that course was a great one. It turned a 30,000 word novella into a 64,000 word novel. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it, it will help you figure out where the, the story is missing in depth and will um, let you make it better. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do go now is uh, work on the PDFs for this, and I'm going to upload the new PDF. And I've got to put the coupon together because I haven't done it yet um, but if you follow the instructions for the the free module workbook that's down at the very bottom of this just click through that link and uh, you can get your free textbook and you get the instructions on how to get your rebate coupon and um, I guess that's that's it thank you very much for coming and thank you for for asking good questions I really appreciate it and I will see you soon